Hello, I'm Stephanie Byrne in the WUFT Newsroom. For Monday, October 12th, here's your News in 90. North Central Florida high school students experienced the dangers of distracted driving today. Thanks to AT&T's campaign, Newberry High School students used a 3D simulation to feel as if they were distracted while driving. The campaign says 61% of people admitted to texting while driving. An anti-Muslim rally took place in Ocala over the weekend. The rally at the Majid Darul Islam Center was a part of a national protest. Florida Gun Supply also took part in the protest. It was in response to Nation of Islam leader Louis Farcon speaking in Washington, D.C. There were no reports of violence that took place at the rally. Cell phone video captured a water spout overtaking a driver in South Florida Sunday morning. The water spout was near the Sunshine Skyway Bridge in St. Petersburg. The driver was not hurt and there have been no reports of further damage caused by the water spout. One person is dead today after a plane crash in Volusia County over the weekend. According to investigators, three people were aboard the small plane when it went down. The two others were taken to a nearby hospital. The crash is still under investigation. Zimbabwean officials announced today they would not charge the American dentist responsible for killing Cecil the Lion. Walter Palmer admitted to killing Cecil the Lion in July near a national park in Zimbabwe, resulting in global uproar. Officials said Palmer will not be charged because his local guides had the proper hunting permits. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.